So Nintendo recently has been making tributes to their old consoles that were discontinued like decades ago, such as the NES, SNES, and maybe others in the future like the Game Boy and the Nintendo 64. These tributes come in the form of an $80 mini plug-and-play console that resembles the original console it's replicating. The Nintendo Entertainment System got the NES Classic Edition last year, and this year fans of the Super Nintendo System were treated to an SNES Classic Edition. But the SNES Classic has recently been having similar issues that the NES Mini had. Mainly, it's been very hard to find as of late, and the ones that are for sale are going for hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars. But even so, this console still has some things going for it. The SNES Mini features many classic Super Nintendo games built right into the system, including the never-before-released Star Fox 2. But if you want to play any other game on that system, you're out of luck because you used to not be able to add games to the console. But like I said, you used to not be able to. Because not even three weeks after the SNES Classic came out, someone has managed to hack it. So I've already given you a brief history on the rare SNES Classic Edition, but let me elaborate on how this system was hacked and who did it. Because I don't want to pull viewers away from the original hacker, I will have a link to the person who was able to crack the SNES Classic in the description, and he will show you how to do it yourself in his own video. So a user on YouTube known as Skeletor, he has around like 11,000 subscribers, he basically does videos on retro consoles, and also sometimes has gameplay over there. He managed to put other games on the SNES Classic using Notepad++, Python 3.60, the hack chi tool and a script for notepad plus plus and while all of that may sound complicated it is he even said that this is not an ideal way to add games to your snes classic but it's the only way to right now that he knows of so what do i think of this i think it's great amazing games are on the snes classic personally the one i want to play the most would be Star Fox 2 but not everyone is going to be satisfied with the list of games the little box has. Maybe someone wants an LJN game on their SNES Classic. I don't know why they would, but hey, that's your choice. I'm not knocking anyone's preferences. I don't personally own an SNES or any classic console, but this SNES Mini, SNES Classic, whatever you want me to call it, is much more appealing to me compared to the NES Classic. That's probably because, again, I don't have an SNES, and I do have an NES, and I want to play Star Fox 2, so it makes sense why I would want this console more than the NES Mini, but that's just me. So I've given my thoughts on this, I've given history on the SNES Classic, I've done everything I need to do. But I really want to hear your thoughts on this topic, because I know other people out there definitely feel different about hacking. I think for this scenario, hacking is acceptable, but hey, I'm just one guy. So again, let me know your opinion on this in the comments. So I hope you did enjoy this video. It would be appreciated if you shared this video, but it's always up to you. I'll have a link to my other social medias in the description, and see you.